It is the season of joy, the season of giving, the season of layering. This is Street Styled, back in London, winter edition. Please, you're the coolest guy we've seen on the street. Two minutes, two minutes, please. Two minutes. Okay, thank you. What a win. What's your name? My name is Felipe. Tell me about your style. You look super cool. Thank you. I mean, I don't consider myself to be a stylish man, but I appreciate it. Tell us where is everything from? Uh, this is from Woolrich. Trousers are from Noah and they're Converse. Staple shoe. And a cool hat too? Yeah, I don't know where that's from, to be honest. Nah. We'll make something up and link it below. What about your grooming routine? Great beard? Uh, yeah, I spend a lot of time. Every two weeks I go to the barbers, get my beard done, get my hair done. It looks a mess underneath there, so I'm not going to take it off. Tell me too, do you have any sort of style inspiration or style advice for guys watching? So I skateboard, so I take a lot of my inspiration for what I see and what I want to use when I'm skating. So that's pretty much where it all comes from, to be honest. Hi guys, nice to meet you. What's your name? Phil. Phil. Nice to meet you. And James. James, Phil and James. I've stopped you because I love your looks. Oh, thank you. Cheers. Can you tell me where everything's from? Uh, yeah, I've got um, Red Wing boots on. Um, some black jeans from Edwin, and uh, this is a Filson uh, coat, a cap made by our own company called Ann Sons. Ann Sons, we will link that, I love these caps. And you both work together? Yes. Yeah, co-founders. Um, I'm wearing all Ann Sons today actually, so yeah, we have a 13-ounce uh, salvage denim, um, and then the pea coat, and then the same as Phil, then the, the wool cap. Do you have any sort of style tips, guys that work in fashion, any tips for the guys watching at home? Yeah, yeah. and just don't try too hard. <laughs> don't try and look stylish just wear what's comfortable I like that because we, we've done sort of street styled around the world and we've seen in different cities some guys who let the clothing wear them yeah. rather than them having their own individual style and really working with it so this is great to see thank you very much for stopping thank you what I absolutely love in street style especially in winter actually is all the different styles we see, all the different haircuts, the grooming routines and the skincare. And I'm really pleased to be working with Bron and their Series 9 electric shaver in this one. You'll actually have seen this in a couple of videos I've done before. But this can be used wet and dry and is perfect for guys with sensitive skin because it actually picks up the hair and cuts it, ensuring a close, uncomfortable shape. There's a gold one, there's also a silver one, and I'll make sure I link them in the description below. Antona, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Where are you from? I'm from France. From France? Yeah. Where in France? Uh, Lyon. Lyon. Yeah. We've done a street style, what we're doing here in yeah. Paris before. I know not yeah. Lyon, but I love the French people, so it's, yeah. it's lovely to talk to you. I've stopped you because I love your look. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. Where's everything from? Is it certain brands? Uh, some uh, Free Prix, um, some, some uh, Doc Martins in London. We are in winter, so I buy this. Just uh, like that, yeah. What's different about London than from Lyon for style? Uh, uh, from style, uh, a lot of things we have. Uh, in London, we have more brands, more color. Um, the personality of um, the people, it's really different. So the, sty the style, it's really, really different. Uh, we have a lot of uh, nationality uh, in London. So we have a mix of styles and uh, it's more interesting than in Lyon, yeah. We've been talking about shaving during this and talking about an electric shaver, which yeah. is the Braun Series 9. Yeah. Yeah. And um, this, especially for what you do, which is yeah. keeping it all so trimmed and clean, this is a sort of a great tool for you and so quick. I use this uh, all the time, yeah. yeah. I not uh, take your manual, and, yeah, it's too long, so it's Braun. Yeah, it's the same Braun. Yeah. Excuse me. Excuse me, excuse me. Hi, can I talk to you about your style, please? I just chased you. What's your name? Andy. Andy, nice to meet you. I'm Robin. Nice to meet you, Robin. I chased after you because I was taken in by the tartan as a Scot. That's what got me. Uh, but also, I just like your full look. Oh, thank you. So I'm a fellow Scot as well, okay. so I don't sound like it. But I Where are you from? Uh, Inverness is where the family are from. So, hence why I'm wearing a bit of tartan. It's not I'm, the Monroe tartan, oh, okay. though. I'm from Forest, which is 30 miles east of Inverness. Sick. So uh, we're fellow Scots together. Oh, yeah. Uh, tell me about your style. Where have you got everything from? Uh, this is actually from Edinburgh. It was a gift. Uh, this is actually a Uniqlo jacket, so like a worker jacket, Friendly. navy, yeah. pleated trouser, and then just my Adidas trainers. It's a bit of a staple for me. You've kept them so white. I think in London that Everyone is... says that to me, but I just give them a quick wipe every now and then. But <laughs> Every day religiously, morning routine, wipe the trainers. No, it's actually not, but... <laughs> do, do you have a morning routine? Any sort of grooming? Uh, with a beard, yeah, I have to kind of look after it a bit. General moisturising, all that sort of stuff. So. Any like 
products you really like or any beard oils? Um, I've got a Kiehl's beard oil, uh, which is good. Uh, not using it at the moment, but I had a Tom Ford's beard oil. That was really good, but that was a gift. So, Tell me about your hair. You've got very impressive thick hair. How often do you get it cut? Um, every six weeks. Yeah. So it tends to be the best way. And then, yeah, it's just quite natural, really. Just sort of, I'm lucky I've got a bit of a curl in, a natural curl in it, so. You've got very good hair. This is the kind of hair I wish mine was like, I have to put a lot of product in it. Yeah, yeah. Well, I'm lucky, my dad's bald, so I'm hoping it carries on for as long as possible, we'll see. <laughs> Fingers crossed, I'm sure we'll be fine. Well, thank you very much for stopping. We are all guys who love our style, our fashion, and our grooming. And if you're new to shaving, you're not quite sure what to do. I would say, you know, shaving is very personal, but if you want to get into electric shaving, this could be the one for you. Not only does it look great, but it really does work a treat. Peter, thank you very much for stopping. You're very welcome. What are you up to today? A bit of shopping? Just walking around. I've just had a disappointment. I couldn't get into the Royal Academy, so I just thought I'd walk around here and Soho. Walking around looking extremely dapper, I stopped you because I love your style. Thank you very much. You're most welcome. Tell me, what are you wearing? Where is it from? Okay, I've got some, I think they're Hackett uh, moleskins. I can't remember where the shoes come from, but I'm a shoe guy. This is from Vienna, the Lodeners from Seville. I just threw some stuff together, half smart, half not. I even put a tie on today because I felt like it. I like that, dressing up because you feel like it. And where do you, do you get your style inspiration from anyone in particular? Is it just you? It's me. It's what I see in magazines. It's things I like. Uh, when I was young, I liked the stuff in St. James's. Now I'm an old man. I like my stuff everywhere, including secondhand shops. So I just, whatever, whatever just catches my eye. I mean, I mean, it looks great. You look so well put together. What about your grooming? Do you have a sort of grooming routine, maybe in the morning or any sort of skincare you like to use? Just just plain old oil of Yule, a good shave. Um, yeah, yeah. Let, there's a Turkish guy who looks after my hair. And uh, yeah, that, that's all really. Is shaving important to you? Is it part of like a regime or a ritual? Yeah, yeah I like, I, I'd look a mess if I was unshaven. Because we, we've been talking to guys who've got lots of different sort of facial hairstyles, but I think whatever you do, keep it neat and you just look perfect. Well, thank you very much for stopping. Well, thank, you. Robin, thank, thank you. Thank you. What's your name? Davi. Davi, I'm Robin. Nice Lovely to meet you. I've stopped you because I love your style. Great individual style. Thank you, I appreciate it. Um, you're from the US? Yeah, Los yeah. Angeles. And you're here just for a break? Yeah, yeah. vacation. Uh, tell me about your style. Where's everything from? I actually got these in Camden. Nice. Um, my socks are Mitch Matt. So one's like Nike, the other one's Vans. Don't judge me. <laughs> um, my pants are Zara. Uh, my change are like... Camden. My rings are from Camden. This is actually my my uh, friend's. Yeah. It's hers. I'm staying with her. Um, and then my turtleneck is from Zara. Yeah. So, nothing nothing super high fashion or design or anything like that. Like just. I like it though. It's the way you've pulled everything together. And this is amazing. This it's is just like. Hers. I saw it this morning and I was like, I want to wear it. Yeah. yeah. So accessories are obviously a key thing for you. Um, if you're gonna do like all black, you can like accessorize it. So it's just not all black and basics. Thank you very much for stopping. I really appreciate it. We had a bit of an omen in the last street style with your man, Kit Harrington, just outside the John Snow pub. And actually, winter's now here. What's your name? My name's Max. How's it going? Where are you from? Germany. And you're here for holiday or you're studying? I'm studying, yeah. You're studying. I stopped you because I love your look, especially this coat. Oh, thank you very much. I love your coat. Thanks very much. And where is it from? This is a Zara coat. Zara. Got about a year ago. And your jeans, where are they from? These jeans are from H&M. And what about your grooming routine? Like, are there a few products or maybe brands that you like for any skincare or hair? I use coal as a wax, okay. essentially, and I use um, oil sprays. And, and do you do any shaving? Or do you do electric shaving? If you're just the guy that wants to get onto the cheeks or onto the neck, I've got a very sensitive neck, so this is a sort of good one for a very quick go for it. Mm -hmm. All right, what's the brand? This is Braun, which is actually from, from your way. It's a Braun Series 9. This will be linked. I actually have been using brown. I use an electric to shave, it's just quicker, easier. Matthew, hi. Hi, how are you? I'm good, thank you. We stopped Matthew because we actually did our best barbershops in London video, which will be linked up there. And Matthew works at Joe & Co, so I was like, we need to stop you. Good, absolutely, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm 
feel lucky to be in another one of your videos. Oh. So the c jacket is Maharishi. Okay. Um, it's a vintage thing, which is probably about 10, 15 years old now. Supreme, obviously, just because uh, yeah. you can. Yeah. <laughs> Carhartt trousers and Supreme Bands uh, collaboration on the feet. What about any sort of skincare or grooming, any sort of beard care? Like, what's your, what's your routine or regime? I am awful, but in a good way. Uh, I use like a, a Kiehl's under eye for the day. I use a uh, Aesop face wash, I'm really into my fragrances as well. Yeah. What fragrance are you wearing? Because it smells amazing. I'm wearing Byredo 11th Hour and actually a little bit of Frederick Malpromise on the jacket. Nice. Yeah. So kind of a mixture of the two. And I always layer up. So I'll use Molecule 01 with something or something by Byredo or Diptyque. Uh, Philosophos is a favorite, obviously like an everyday favorite, but Frederick Mal. It's lovely. Do you have any top tips for guys at home, maybe about grooming especially? Probably, it's probably an hour of key things really, because guys, guys are generally really bad at looking after themselves. Maybe not so much in Soho, central London, but you know, especially if they've been told to have their hair cut by their wife or girlfriend or partner, or whatever. So I think some guys think that you can have two haircuts a year and that kind of is, is enough. Definitely. Thank you very much Stop. for stopping. All right, thank, thank you. you. Thank you. I've just met Stuart on the street. Stuart is a subscriber. Thank you for saying hi. Hi. You are very dapper. Where's everything from? Um, this is Hackett. Um, the suit uh, is from Acne Studios. Yeah. I think I've got Drake's tie and shirt on. And the jumper, I think it's Cos. Yeah, yeah so just... Uh, it's good. Can we, can we swap outfits? I feel like I want to wear this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, nice and warm because it's obviously freezing today. It is absolutely freezing. And what about your grooming routine? Your hair is very sleek. Uh, yeah, uh, American Crew, um, I think the, gr the uh, grooming cream, uh, not too much, Aesop products on, um, on my hair for shampoo and stuff, and then, yeah, not too much, uh, and usually just, I can't grow a beard, so keep it, keep it quite nice and short, so yeah. Well, thank you very much for stopping, Stuart, really nice, nice to meet nice you. To you too. Enjoy the rest of your day. The sun is certainly coming down, and it's getting cold, but another very successful street style in London. We'll find what the guys have been wearing. If we can, we'll link it down below in the description. Also, the Bronze Series 9 in gold and silver will be in the description. If you're new to my channel, you've not yet pressed subscribe then. My gloved hand is pressing there, subscribe right now. Also, there's more video suggestions down there. A link to my blog, it's there. More street styles are up there, including my social on Instagram up there. But I'll see you in my next new video. Bye-bye.